Hi everyone! In this tip video I wanted to give you some pointers on how you can create a realistic and juicy sliced orange. I'm focusing here on that sliced half and I've worked from a photo that I took myself. As always the drawing is key. It would have taken ages to draw out all the tiny little shapes that make up the inside of the orange, so instead I measured and drew out the five key segments and then by eye I drew in some of the most prominent shapes within them, the ones that stood out the most. The rest of the shapes I'll paint in, but these pencil outlines will help me to get them in roughly the right sort of place. If they're not in exactly the right place it won't matter too much, but we do want to try and get the right level of detail in for it to look realistic. To begin with I apply a watery yellow-orange mixture to match to the lightest tones in the orange. It's important to keep these nice and light as they are crucial for creating the shiny juicy effects, so if you're in any doubt water your mixture down some more. Once dry I use a smaller brush to apply the darkest tone shapes. I vary the hue or the colour mix to match what I see, using combinations of yellow, orange as well as touches of browns and greys to mute that colour down and also to make it darker. It's at this stage that I add many more of the little shapes that I can see in the reference photograph. It requires really close observation and takes a lot of time. It really can't be rushed but that's okay because it's also a lot of fun. This footage is massively sped up but you're getting a sense here of the level of detail that I'm putting in at this stage. Now my darkest tones are in and dry I can more easily judge how dark to take my lighter mid-tones. I apply another watery wash over everywhere except for my lightest highlights. I use a gentle touch so as not to lift up the dark paint underneath. Once that's dry I can now see that there are many darker mid-tone areas that I need to work on. I go back to a smaller brush and my thicker darker mixes to work on those again and also to add in more of the little shapes and details that I can see in those segments. My contrast levels are now looking too strong so I can tell that I now need to darken up some of my lighter mid-tone areas. So I dilute my mixes a little and I apply another layer to the areas that need darkening just a little bit. I still take care to only apply this mixture to all areas that are this tone or darker, making sure I leave all my lightest highlights so that they're still visible as they create the highlights and the juicy shine effect. The darkest part of the whole composition is the skin half of the orange and so once I've worked on that and darkened that up I can better judge where there are a few areas of my segments that need to be taken darker still. So at this stage I go in with a tiny brush and my darkest mixes to work on just the very darkest parts of the segments and to add in even more fine detail where I can see it. And there you have a juicy looking orange slice. If you'd like to see a full, real-time, step-by-step tutorial of this orange, including all the colours I've used and also the skin half of the orange itself, it's available in my online school. If you've enjoyed this tip video, please visit watercolourswithwow.com where you can sign up for a free step-by-step -step tutorial, check out the materials I recommend, view more tip videos, upload your own work to a gallery and lots more. Thanks for watching.